high mobility, able to block attacks or roll evade with relative ease, low commitment attack combos. Sword and Shield has always been one of my staple favorite weapons since Monster Hunter past games, but now in Iceborne, its true power is unleashed. It is capable of high burst damage, which is unheard of in the past. It is now one of the best DPS weapon in the game, while also keeping its versatility, being one of few light weapons capable of tenderizing parts in a single clutch. Welcome to our short and shield weapon build guide. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Team Black Mamba. If you are new to our channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button to receive our upcoming contents as we make this kind of videos all the time. In this video, we will be showcasing our sword and shield builds. There will be several endgame builds including comfy guiding line, high DPS builds, and support builds. For the first build, it's a combination of a Master Touch and Brigadier's Wheel set. It utilizes two sets of Raging Brigadier's Armor and two sets of Theostra. I use Safi Jiva Awakening for Theostra technique, so I only need two sets of Theostra instead of three. It has Attack Boost level 7 for consistent damage, Agitator level 7, and of course, Flames Free level 1 for multiplayer hunt. For the Augment, I use health regen and attack boost. This set is very comfy because with the 100 plus affinity both from weakness exploit or detector active, you will easily maintain your sharpness. With your Stra Master Touch, you rarely, if ever, have the need to resharpen your weapon during a hunt. The next build is a high DPS build with unique playstyle. This build requires you to awaken for Falcana Divinity. So you only need 3 pieces of Rhyme card instead of 4. This is mandatory in my opinion, because the Falcana Armor set itself doesn't have great skill set or slot. I also awaken for 1 sharpness to help maintain sharpness during a hunt. This build also utilizes Quick Seed Level 3 to even hasten the already speedy SNS cheating animation. This build utilizes Falcana Unique Armor bonus set which gives you 30% extra damage, but you must manage the frost cuff power by shooting your weapon. This means you have to play with different playstyle compared to other SNS builds in this video by frequently shooting your weapon. But the damage bonus is worth it in my opinion. The third build is the comfiest of all, and also my favorite whenever I gain something new or an unknown threat. For example, when Raging Precidious or Furious Raging first release, this set utilizes the Master Touch from Theustra Armor set and Divine Blessing Level 5 from Golden Ratian Armor. With Divine Blessing Level 5, you have 40% chance to receive reduced damage instead of 25%. With this, you have wonderful survival ability. Combined with Theustra Master Touch, this set is very comfy. I recommend using this build whenever you are facing against a very difficult monster such as Guiding Land Tempered Monster or Threat 3 Investigation. The fourth build is sort of a niche build. It is a full support build utilizing 4 set of Cold Terror with Artyan set. With this you got Guts which is like an extra life, and also a free meal level 3. Combined with a wide range level 5, you can be the true healer of the team. You can also cure poison, Elemental Blights using Antidote Herbal Medicine or Null Berry. But you can also bring the Mic Bill. Combined with White Range, you will buff the entire team for a short period of time. To be honest, I rarely use this build. I think DPS build is more preferable. Life Powder or Dust of Life is more than enough for occasional hunt. But this build can be used for certain situations where your team is struggling against a certain trap. I think that's all for this video guys. For the conclusion, I think the one that I use the most is the Falcana build. With it, you can easily achieve 250 to 300 plus damage per slash during perfect class, accumulating around 1500 damage in total. 
Or, you could also use the Equitator and Master Dash combination of armor. It is very comfy but also has high damage potential. The safest and most comfy of all is of course the Golden Radiant combined with Master Touch from Matheusta Armor. This is the set I use whenever I'm, I'm not very familiar with the monster attack button. And the healer set is of course a very niche build but it's your choice. Hey there soul guys, thank you for your time for watching our video. If you like our content please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video. I'll see you in the upcoming videos. Bye.